Tonight, we explore the Pi Network, a digital phenomenon that sparked global curiosity. It claims to be a cryptocurrency for everyone, mineable on your smartphone instead of power-hungry computers. This accessibility has drawn tens of millions worldwide, all hoping their daily taps will one day pay off. Since launching in 2019 by Stanford grads, Pi has stayed in a closed mainnet phase, meaning you can't trade Pi on public exchanges yet. Critics question its legitimacy, while believers see a chance to democratize finance. The value of Pi isn't set by markets, but by the faith and engagement of its users. Now a major update, the Pioneer experience, has arrived, shaking up the community. This isn't just a bug fix, it's a leap forward, introducing new features and sparking a surge in Pi's perceived value. We're seeing renewed excitement and a notable uptick in what people believe their Pi is worth. Tonight we break down what's changed, why it matters, and what it could mean for the future of digital money. Let's dive in. To understand Pi's appeal, we need to look at the existing landscape of cryptocurrencies and where Pi fits in. Let's compare it to Bitcoin, the original cryptocurrency that started it all. Mining Bitcoin requires specialized and expensive hardware, creating a barrier to entry for many. This process also demands huge amounts of energy, making it environmentally unsustainable and financially out of reach for most individuals. Pi's founders aim to fix this inherent problem by designing a system that allows anyone with a smartphone to mine Pi, making cryptocurrency accessible to a wider audience. This is achieved through a simple daily check-in on the Pi app. Instead of relying on energy-intensive mathematical computations, Pi utilizes a social verification system to secure its network. This system is based on the principles of the Stellar Consensus Protocol, a more efficient and environmentally friendly approach. The growth of the PI network is driven by referrals, where existing users invite new members to join, thus expanding the network's reach and influence. This referral system also has the added benefit of boosting their own individual mining rate. This viral growth model has successfully built a massive and highly engaged community of users fostering a sense of shared ownership and participation among its members. But there's a catch to all of this. Currently, Pi cannot be traded openly on any cryptocurrency exchanges. As a result, its perceived value remains largely speculative, based more on future potential and hope, rather than established market prices and trading activity. Skeptics and critics often dismiss it as merely digital points. However, the Pi Network's proponents, often called pioneers, view this as a necessary phase in the ongoing process of building, refining, and testing the network's capabilities. Ultimately, the debate boils down to this fundamental question. Is Pi a genuine revolution in cryptocurrency accessibility, or is it simply a waiting game with an uncertain timeline, with no concrete guarantee of a future payoff or real-world value? For the time being, its value remains a bet on its future potential a bet that millions of users are still willing to place and actively support. The direction of the next chapter hinges on whether the Pi network can successfully translate its widespread belief and engagement into tangible, real-world utility and applications. And that's precisely what the latest updates and developments within the Pi ecosystem are aiming to address and achieve. The Pioneer Experience update is Pi's biggest leap yet. For the first time, Pioneers can use their coins in a structured peer-to-peer -peer marketplace inside the Pi browser app. Think of it as a digital classifieds powered by Pi, where users can buy and sell goods and services. This transforms Pi from a number on a screen into a real medium of exchange. Developers also get new tools to build Pi apps, games, utilities, and more, fueling a digital economy within the network. The update streamlines KYC verification, making it easier for users to unlock their wallets and join the marketplace. More verified users means more transactions, more apps, and more reasons to value Pi. It's the first real test of Pi's promise. Can it power a self-sustaining digital world? The answer will shape the project's next phase. For now, the doors to Pi's economy are finally opening. Before this update, Pi was, in many ways, a largely passive experience for its users. It existed as a concept, a potential but not yet a fully realized ecosystem. You'd open the app, tap a button, and then wait often for extended periods, for the next phase to unfold. There wasn't much active engagement beyond that initial interaction. Now, with verification, users can actually spend their Pi, they can buy a bike, supporting local businesses, and engaging in tangible commerce. They can pay for a service, directly compensating providers within the Pi network, or they can trade directly with others in their region, 
fostering a peer-to-peer -peer economy. This direct interaction is a game changer. This shift from speculation to utility is huge. It's the difference between holding a theoretical asset and using a functional currency. It gives Pi real practical value, moving it beyond just a digital token and into the realm of a useful technology. Developers are invited to build apps, expanding the PI ecosystem and creating new functionalities. It's reminiscent of the early days of the App Store, a time of rapid innovation and experimentation. This sparks innovation and unlocks new uses for Pi, pushing the boundaries of what's possible within the network. The improved KYC process removes a major bottleneck, streamlining user onboarding and verification. This lets more users access their coins and actively participate in the marketplace, fueling its growth. As more people get verified, the network effect grows exponentially. More buyers, more sellers and significantly more commercial activity. This creates a virtuous cycle, a self-reinforcing loop of growth and engagement. Each new transaction makes Pi more useful, and consequently, more valuable within its ecosystem. The update effectively turns Pi from a waiting game, a promise of future value, into a tangible working economy. It's a pivotal moment, a turning point in Pi's journey. Pi is no longer just a promise, a theoretical concept, but a platform actively in use, demonstrating its potential. The real test now is whether this initial momentum can be sustained over the long term. For now, the community is energized and enthusiastic about the possibilities, and the world is watching with keen interest, observing how this unfolds. The next strategic steps will ultimately determine if Pi can truly deliver on its ambitious vision and achieve lasting success. After the update, Pi's consensus value jumped 5.6%, a big deal for a coin not yet on public exchanges. This value comes from internal barter rates and IOU markets, not official trading platforms. Why the surge? Utility. For the first time, people can actually use their Pi, creating real demand. Imagine an island where seashells suddenly buy food, Overnight, those shells become more valuable. The new marketplace and apps have turned Pi from a speculative asset into a usable currency. This utility-driven demand pushes up the price people are willing to accept for their coins. The update also signals progress, restoring faith in the project and encouraging users to hold rather than sell. Fewer sellers, more buyers and new ways to spend Pi all combine to boost its perceived value. It's a textbook case of how real-world use can drive digital value. The 5.6% jump is more than a number, it's a sign that Pi's long-awaited utility is finally arriving. Whether this growth is sustainable depends on what comes next. For now, optimism is back in the Pi community. In crypto, a 5.6% move might seem small, but for Pi, it's a milestone. Unlike Bitcoin's wild swings, Pi's value is shaped by community consensus and new features, not market hype. Think of it like a biotech stock that jumps after a successful trial. Real progress, not just rumors. The Pioneer Experience update proved Pi's concept could work, boosting confidence in its future. This kind of growth, driven by utility not speculation, is healthier and more sustainable. For beginners it's a lesson. Value comes from usefulness not just price charts or celebrity tweets. Most coins launch on open markets and see wild volatility. Pi is building utility first, then price discovery. The recent surge reflects millions of users reacting to new functionality, not just traders chasing quick profits, it's a slower, steadier path to value, one that could prove more stable in the long run. For newcomers, Pi's journey is a real-time case study in what makes digital assets valuable. The takeaway look for projects where utility drives growth, not just hype. That's the real story behind Pi's latest surge. The Pi community is buzzing with excitement and anticipation. The recent developments have sparked a wave of enthusiasm among its members. Social media is full of stories about first-ever Pi purchases, showcasing the tangible impact of the network's progress. People are eager to share their experiences and celebrate this milestone. From meals in the Philippines where Pi is being used to purchase local delicacies to haircuts in Nigeria, demonstrating the diverse applications of Pi across different regions and cultures. For many, this update is vindication a validation of their belief in the project's potential. Years of patience are finally paying off, as the community witnesses the realization of their collective efforts. The long wait seems worthwhile now. Influencers call it a turning point, recognizing the significance of this development for the future of decentralized economies, saying, this is about building a real people-powered economy, 
emphasizing the community-driven nature of the Pi network and its potential to empower individuals. Outside the community, experts are more cautious, offering a balanced perspective on the project's progress. Blockchain researchers praise the new utility, acknowledging the innovative features and functionalities introduced in the latest update, but warn the real test is still ahead, emphasizing the challenges that lie ahead in achieving widespread adoption and long-term sustainability. Until Pi is tradable on major exchanges, its true value remains uncertain. It remains speculative, subject to market sentiment and future developments. Critics point out that current value is contained within a closed loop, limiting its real-world applicability. True market forces haven't hit yet, meaning the true test of its economic model is yet to come. What happens when millions can sell their coins? This is the question on everyone's mind. Will the price hold or collapse? The answer to this question will determine the long-term viability of the project. The consensus, the update is a major achievement, a significant step forward in the project's development. But Pi's ultimate success depends on its transition to an open mainnet, allowing for broader participation and integration with the wider cryptocurrency ecosystem. For now the project has cleared a big hurdle demonstrating its resilience and commitment to its vision, but the finish line is still distant, and the journey ahead will require continued effort and innovation. The world is watching to see if Pi can turn community energy into lasting value, transforming its initial promise into a sustainable and impactful reality. The next phase will be critical, requiring careful planning and execution to navigate the challenges ahead. Only time will tell if Pi can deliver on its bold promise, establishing itself as a legitimate and valuable player in the digital economy. The Pioneer Experience update shifts Pi's focus from collecting coins to actually using them. The next big test, can the internal marketplace and app ecosystem thrive? The core team's goal is a robust, self-sustaining economy, one that can support a stable value before opening to public trading. If successful, Pi could set a new standard for launching cryptocurrencies, build community and utility first, then go public. But challenges remain, scaling the marketplace, preventing scams and navigating global regulations. The timing of the open mainnet will depend on the strength of Pi's internal economy. For now, the path forward is clearer, but the journey is far from over. The next months will reveal if Pi can turn momentum into maturity. For millions of pioneers, hope is alive, and the destination feels closer than ever. The world is watching Pi's next move. For newcomers, Pi's story is a rare, accessible entry point into crypto. It strips away jargon and focuses on value created by community and utility. With a mobile-first approach, Pi lets beginners join, learn, and transact. No complex exchanges or private keys required. The update offers a real-world lesson. Value rises when usefulness increases, not just from hype. Following Pi's journey teaches due diligence, how to ask the right questions and look beyond price. Whether Pi succeeds or not, its experiment is a masterclass in digital value creation. For those new to crypto, the lesson is clear. Utility is king. The 5.6% surge wasn't random. It was a direct response to new usefulness. In the end, that's the most important takeaway for anyone entering the world of digital assets.